as well as into tomorrow. I think a lot of the same. More good and bad weather both on the way again for Sunday. So we will have dry opportunities for sure outside. Now the sun is setting across central Indiana, 64 degrees outside. If you are heading out the door, we are good to go as far as the overnight hours and first part of Sunday are concerned. Winds are now out of the southeast at three miles an hour. The dew point temperature at 58. So it actually feels pretty comfortable now. High temperatures once again really close to record numbers. 87 degrees was our high today just after 12 p.m. and that record being at 89 set back in 2018. So just a couple of years ago, but we were really close to it. We did break a couple of records as far as temperatures go earlier this week in both low and high temperatures for record warmth. But today we just fell two degrees short. We are looking at dry weather on our radar right now, so that is good news. I looped this all the way back for 12 hours ago and then it's, it's not moving. All right. Is it going to move? Does it want to move? Okay. Well, we had um, a lot of heavy showers and thunderstorms rolling through earlier today, and that did bring even some severe thunderstorm warnings for some of our southern counties, Lawrence County, and out west, um, some of those counties as well in the Wabash Valley area did see severe thunderstorms. So that included anything from uh, hail that was a little larger than an inch in diameter, and even severe winds. The severe winds were mostly to the south. There was some uh, severe criteria there in Bloomington and the Bedford areas, but actually out west, it was interesting. Uh, we didn't reach uh, 60 mile an hour wind gusts necessarily in all of those severe thunderstorms, but they were there was hail that was just so large that it had to get warned. As we head into Sunday afternoon, 4 p.m. there, we'll start to see some showers and thunderstorms popping back up. It's going to be a late afternoon to early evening threat as far as the severe potential goes for Sunday. 11.30 p.m. we still have widespread rain coverage and showers moving through the state and it'll be like that for the next few hours though into the early morning hours of Monday. There's 2 a.m. still a very active radar is what we're expecting and then the rest of Monday is going to be great. We dry out, have tons of sunshine and really comfortable temperatures because what's happening with this severe threat, this is for Sunday, this is for tomorrow, uh, we've got a cold front that moves through, so we could actually see some briefly stronger storms than what we saw today. Now, today was extremely active from start to finish. However, tomorrow we could see some even stronger storms popping up because of this cold front. So this is what it's going to look like tomorrow. Cold, nothing cold about this. After that cold front passes through, though, of course, our temperatures will start to drop down for the start of next week. So for our Sunday outlook, mid 80s, and then the storms roll through into the afternoon. Wind gusts have been over 30 miles an hour. Lafayette had a near 50 mile an hour wind gust outside of storms. So in the storms, those are going to be a little bit stronger. Winds have calmed down and even temperatures in the mid 60s. And what happened today? So our surface winds pretty weak right now. But we actually saw the winds aloft, not that much shear. That's something that helps get these storms going. And there wasn't a lot of it here at home in Indiana at the upper level winds. So that's kind of a good thing. It helped to limit the severe environment. Looking at the seven day forecast, this is what happens when we get this cold front. So it will bring us some strong showers and thunderstorms, but temperature wise, not going to cool us off too much. It'll actually just bring us back to reality and to the more seasonal conditions we should be experiencing for the middle of May. Guys. All right, Alyssa, thank you. And I